Welcome to Bonding Over Bonds. I'm Allie Krautheim and I'm joined today by Jim Jackson. Thanks for being here today, Jim. Very excited to be here. So, Jim, what happened in the markets this past month? You know, Allie, I think there are three primary takeaways. First, inflation remains stubbornly higher than the Fed's, uh, Fed's target. Second, the market priced the first rate cut further into 2024. And third, interest rates moved higher across the curve. It's a great summary. Is there anything in particular you think fixed income investors are not paying close enough attention to? You know, I would say that there's something they're paying too much attention to, and that's what the next Fed move is. And what they're failing to see is that the yields we're seeing in fixed income are closest to the highest we have seen in 15 years. So with all the talk of, about an inverted curve, what the Fed does next, we think investors should consider the benefits of locking in higher rates for longer. Absolutely. With these higher yields, another data point that I think should get more focus is the spread between the 10-year Treasury yield and the S&P 500 dividend yield. In recent months, investors can potentially get paid more from a risk-free asset, the 10-year Treasury, than the dividend yield they'd receive from equities, meaning even on a relative basis, bonds look attractive. That's a great point, Allie. And I would also point out that, that the extent that 10-year Treasuries are yielding more than the S&P is really the largest we have seen in at least 10 years. So we think that bonds look attractive on an absolute basis. They look attractive relative to stocks. And we think it's for fixed income investors, this is potentially a great time to add fixed income exposure. Thanks, Jim. And thanks to all of you for bonding with us over bonds.